Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Soul State Inc. My name is Beth, and today I have the AuthorTube Christmas tag for you. I was not tagged to do this video, but I saw it over on Clever Fox's channel, and it's just so fun. I just wanted to do it, so I'm doing it. The original is by Jesse from Jesse uh, Living with Fiction. So if you want to go check those out, I will have both videos linked down below. So these questions are all pertaining to like the main characters in your work in progress. And although I do have several different works in progress, I'm going to be answering these from the viewpoints of the characters in the way we were. So there are seven main characters. I will do my best to keep my answers very brief and just kind of choose between them. Uh, the first question is, what would your main character's favorite Christmas song be? And I feel like a couple of them would choose, like, You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch, things like that. Sky would probably really enjoy things like the classic We Wish You a Merry Christmas, Deck the Halls. But I think Brent would probably choose White Winter Hymnal the version sung by the Pentatonics as his favorite. I will link that video down below. If you haven't watched it yet, you really should. It's a great song. It'll get stuck in your head. Uh, but anyway, that I think would probably be his and most of their favorite Christmas song. Question number two. Pick one of your characters. What would be on their Christmas wish list? Um, I think for Lee on his Christmas wish list would be the sense that he actually belongs. He's kind of the newest member and they're all like family, but I feel like he's kind of an outsider and he would want to figure out what it is that he needs to do to make himself feel like he's a part of the group because everybody else accepts him, loves him and trusts him, but it's really him that is the holdout. So I think that would be at the top of his Christmas wish list is just kind of that knowledge that he can be accepted. Question number three is, which one of your main characters would still believe in Santa Claus as an adult? Um, that would definitely be Lenny. Lenore is one of those kinds of people that would, if not believe in literal Santa Claus, definitely believe in everything Santa stands for, believe that there is magic in the world, and that if he doesn't exist at this point, he did before, and there will be someone to come along and be him again soon. Um, she's she's great. All right, number four, would your main character drink eggnog? If not, what would their Christmas go-to drink be? Uh, I think some of them would probably drink eggnog, but they would all drink hot apple cider, uh, whether it's spiced up with Red Hots or cinnamon and orange pills. I think they would all drink that, and some of them might even add a little bit uh, extra goody to it, but I think hot apple cider would definitely be what they chose over eggnog. Question number five is out of all of your characters, who would be the best gift giver? And I think that would probably be Eliza. She is kind of the best friend for everyone. She's everyone's rock. I think she probably could pick out exactly what they wanted. Now, if you want the best prank gift giver, that would probably be Clay. I think Clayton would probably be the best pranker, but Normal gifts would definitely be Lenny. Um, number six, if your if main character, bleh, <laughs> your main character got a gift that he or she hated, what would he or she do? I think the guys would all, depending on who it's from, if it's from one of the girls, even though they hated it, they would display it, they would use it, they would do whatever they could. Um, and the girls would be the same way. If it's from the guys, they're going to do their best not to show how much they hate it. But otherwise, they're probably going to be pretty vocal about the fact that they're not going to use it nicely, but they might re-gift it or donate it to someone, I think. All right, question number seven is, does your main character sleep in or get up early with excitement on Christmas Day? Uh, I think all of them as a whole would probably not sleep in as late as they could, but sleep in a little. They're not going to get up at like 6 a.m., because they probably stayed up really late the night before hanging out and watching movies. But I think they probably will get up about nine. So not really sleeping in, but not really getting up early. They'd shuffle in and sit in the living room and hang out, start passing out presents once everyone's there. 
Unless they opened the presents on Christmas Eve. I'm not sure about that. Uh, but anyway, question number eight is what is your main character's favorite part about the holidays? And all seven of them, I think their favorite part about the holidays is just being together and having the little traditions that come with being friends and family for so long that you have these things you don't even have to think about anymore. Somebody is going to bring the snacks. Somebody's going to put in National Lampoon's Christmas. Everybody's going to pile on the floor or on the couch. No matter how old you get, when you come together at Christmas, these things happen. And I think that's probably their favorite parts, all of them. Question number nine is your main character and his or her love interest are underneath the mistletoe. What happens next? I think all of them... What would happen is a scene wherein, whether it's a peck on the cheek or a full-blown kiss, that happens, and then everybody else around them is hooting and hollering and telling them to get a room. No matter how G-rated the kiss is, all of that will happen every time. Question number 10, which of your characters would you find in the kitchen baking Christmas treats? Definitely Eliza. She is the one that makes all of the treats. There's actually a scene in the book where she is trying to cook down pumpkins after Halloween so that she can have fresh pumpkin uh, ingredients for the pies and breads that she's going to make for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And everybody's kind of making fun of her and she kicks them all out of the kitchen. But definitely she would be in there. And then everybody else would kind of come in and out. The boys would be fighting over the best way to cook the turkey and, you know, uh, Lee would probably get roped into mixing up huge uh, bowls of batter that Eliza puts all the ingredients in and then is like, my arm's tired, here you do this. And the girls would be mixing up the icing. Everybody's stealing bites out of everything else. But Eliza's definitely the first one in the kitchen. She's the one that's baking. And then finally, what are some of you, the author's favorite books to read during the holidays? Um, I normally switch things up like this year. I don't think I'm actually doing any rereads for Christmas. Uh, but some of my favorite books to read during the holidays are like The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings trilogy. I love those books all the time. I will reread them fairly often. But those are... The cat is making noise. Uh, those are some of my favorites, as well as The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Uh, not any of the other Narnia books, but The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe feels very Christmassy to me. So that's all. That's all of the tag. And I'm going to tag Emily from Julian Gray Soap because you need to do this tag if you haven't done it already. If you have, well, come up with other characters and do it again. Ha! Anyone else that wants to do this, please feel free. Link your video up in the comments below if you want to share it, and I will talk to you guys again very soon. Until next time, read something good and write something better. Bye.